Donald Trump is once again the President of the United States. His victory sends ripples across the globe, particularly to America's northern neighbor, Canada. The two nations share a long history, intertwined economies, and a border that stretches for thousands of miles, yet Trump's policies have often sparked uncertainty in Canada. As he embarks on his second term, the question arises, what does this mean for Canada? Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau offered his congratulations, emphasizing the importance of the US-Canada relationship. However, past interactions between the two leaders have been strained, marked by disagreements on trade and tariffs. This history casts a shadow over future collaborations. The Canadian government is now tasked with navigating this complex relationship, preparing for potential shifts in trade, defense, and immigration. The Canadian dollar fluctuated in the wake of the election results, a clear indication of the economic anxieties felt across the nation. Businesses and economists are carefully analyzing Trump's campaign promises, particularly those related to trade and tariffs. The future of the USMCA trade agreement, a cornerstone of the North American economy, is now under scrutiny. Canada finds itself at a crossroads. The close ties that bind the two nations are undeniable, but so are the potential challenges posed by a Trump presidency. As the world adjusts to this new reality, Canada must chart its own course, balancing collaboration with the protection of its own interests. The Canadian economy is intricately woven with that of the United States. Goods and services flow freely across the border, a testament to decades of economic integration. However, Trump's protectionist stance and his penchant for tariffs send shivers down the spines of Canadian businesses. The potential for trade wars looms large. Trump's campaign rhetoric often targeted Canada, labeling it a trade rival. He has imposed tariffs on Canadian steel and aluminum in the past, citing national security concerns. These tariffs have hurt Canadian businesses and workers, highlighting the vulnerability of the Canadian economy to US actions. The future of the USMCA trade agreement, the successor to NAFTA, is now uncertain. Trump has expressed dissatisfaction with the agreement in the past, threatening to withdraw or renegotiate. Such actions could disrupt supply chains, increase costs for businesses and impact consumers on both sides of the border. Canadian businesses are bracing for impact. Some are exploring alternative markets while others are trying to adapt their operations to mitigate potential damage. The uncertainty surrounding U.S. trade policy creates a challenging environment for Canadian businesses, forcing them to plan for multiple scenarios. Beyond trade, the U.S.-Canada relationship extends to defense and security cooperation. Both nations are members of NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, a military alliance formed during the Cold War. However, Trump's view of NATO and his demands for increased defense spending from member states have caused friction. Trump has repeatedly criticized NATO allies, including Canada, for not spending enough on defense. He has questioned the relevance of NATO in the 21st century and has suggested that the U.S. might reduce its commitment to the alliance. This stance has alarmed many in Canada who see NATO as a cornerstone of global security. Canada has committed to increasing its defense spending, but it is unlikely to reach the 2% of GDP target set by NATO. This discrepancy could become a source of tension with the Trump administration. The Canadian government maintains that its contributions to NATO go beyond financial contributions, citing its involvement in peacekeeping missions and other operations. The potential for a reduced U.S. role in NATO raises concerns about global security and stability. Canada, along with its European allies, may need to reassess its defense posture and consider taking on a more prominent role in international security. Immigration is another area where U.S. policies under Trump have had a direct impact on Canada. Trump's hardline stance on immigration, including the construction of a wall on the US-Mexico border and the separation of families, has led to an increase in asylum seekers crossing into Canada from the US. The influx of asylum seekers has strained Canada's immigration system and sparked debate about border security. While Canada has a long tradition of welcoming refugees, the sheer number of asylum seekers has presented logistical and financial challenges. The Canadian government has increased resources to process asylum claims and provide support to asylum seekers. 
The Trump administration's decision to end temporary protected status for citizens of certain countries, including Haiti and El Salvador, has also led to an increase in asylum seekers crossing into Canada. These individuals, who were legally residing in the US, now face the prospect of deportation and are seeking refuge in Canada. The issue of immigration highlights the interconnectedness of the US and Canada. Policy decisions made in Washington can have significant repercussions north of the border. Canada must find a way to balance its humanitarian obligations with the need to manage its borders effectively. The re-election of Donald Trump presents both challenges and opportunities for Canada. The close relationship between the two countries is undeniable, but so are the potential for disagreements and policy clashes. Canada must navigate this complex landscape carefully, balancing cooperation with the protection of its own interests. Economically, Canada must prepare for the possibility of continued trade tensions with the US. Diversifying trade relationships and exploring new markets will be crucial. The Canadian government must also be prepared to defend Canadian businesses and workers from unfair trade practices. On the defence front, Canada should continue to reaffirm its commitment to NATO and work with allies to ensure the alliance's continued relevance. However, Canada should also be prepared to take on a more active role in international security should the US reduce its global footprint. Immigration will continue to be a pressing issue. Canada must find a way to balance its humanitarian obligations with the need to manage its borders effectively. This will require continued investment in the immigration system and close collaboration with the US. The relationship between Canada and the US has weathered storms before. The challenge for Canada is to find a way to work with the Trump administration while staying true to its own values and interests. The US election always captivates a global audience, but Donald Trump's victory has sparked a particularly strong wave of reactions worldwide. From expressions of concern to cautious optimism, the international community is grappling with the implications of another four years of Trump's leadership. Europe, a close ally of the US, has watched the election with a mix of apprehension and a sense of deja vu. Trump's previous criticisms of NATO and his penchant for unilateral action have left many European leaders wary. The potential for further strain on the transatlantic relationship is a significant concern. Section 8, Asia's Anxiety Balancing Act in the East. In Asia, the response has been more nuanced. China, often at the center of Trump's trade disputes, is likely assessing its strategic position. Japan and South Korea, key US allies in the region, are grappling with the potential implications for regional security particularly regarding North Korea. Section 9, the America's Neighbors in the Balance. Closer to home in the Americas, reactions are mixed. Mexico, which shares a complex relationship with the US, is likely bracing for potential challenges related to trade and immigration. Canada, as discussed, is already mapping out its strategies to navigate the evolving dynamics. Section 10, the African response hope and uncertainty. From Africa, the response has been more muted. Some leaders have expressed hope for continued collaboration on development and security issues. However, there are also concerns about the potential impact of Trump's policies on trade and aid. Section 11, the Middle East, a region in flux. The Middle East, a region often at the heart of US foreign policy, is watching closely. The Trump administration's approach to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and its dealings with Iran have been particularly consequential. The region awaits clarity on how these policies might evolve in the second term.